They're here. All right, this is pretty cool. I am excited for this one. So hello everyone. My name is Morgan from Simple Networks and today is the follow-up video to my Unify Talk episode that I put out uh, last week, I think it was, about a week ago. And um, the phones actually came. If you remember in that video, I said I ordered two of the Unify Talk Flex phones, which are the cheapest ones they have. And I just ordered the cheapest ones because I wanted to actually test out Unify Talk and see if it uh, was really as cool as my presentation made it out to be in that last video. So they're here and I'm pumped. So let's get one of these open and uh, see what it looks like, see what's on the inside. So put this one aside for now. And it's obvious, I mean, this is a well-known fact that uh, the former packaging designer for Apple does the packaging for Unify, but you have the exact same pull tabs. I'll point, point that out right there. Can you see that? Exact same pull tabs that Apple boxes have for opening, for like toolless opening. Interesting. All right. And it's actually, it's kind of angled like a phone set, which is cool. Okay, not as seamless of an experience as I was hoping for. Got a, possibly an ethernet cable. There we go. Easy enough. Got, oh, you know what? It's probably the handset. Feels kind of dumb after that. Yeah, no, not, not packaged as well as I originally thought. So you actually have to slide this part off here. There you go. There we go. Slide that back on. No, this is just the foot stand. So here we go. You seen that? Yeah, feels like a cheap desk phone. <laughs> Put that out so you can see it. Let's see what's in the accessory box here. It's not the handset, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> oh boy. So there you go, there's your handset. I'll probably show you some B-roll of this. It's got the little mute button in the center there. Um, yeah, very basic though. It's got the Unify logo on it. So there. And then we got the actual phone cable to hook the handset up to the unit. All right. And then in the bottom, classic RJ11, 11, 11 style connector. Pop that into, oh, it goes right into the bottom. And you've got a port for a, like a little hand, or a headset, if you wanted to use a headset instead of the speaker phone or the handset. Plug that into the phone jack, that's pretty cool. There it is. There's the Unify Talk, what is it? UVP Flex Phone. So I got another one, I'm gonna get that one unboxed. I'm gonna get these both plugged into the switch and we're gonna go into Unify Talk and see how this goes. All right, so I just set them up on my uh, network storage rack here. Unfortunately, I don't have a super great place to put these right now because I would have to run cables to our power over ethernet switch dedicated to these uh, since we are in an active environment. So for now, they're just gonna be right next to the switch. And I'm just gonna plug them directly into ports 11 and 12, which I have designated for the network I want these to be on. And we're gonna do port 12. All right, so let's see if they're powering up. Oh, there they come. Look at those low pixel density screens. Oh, looks like this one's already done. Configure IP. Provisioning. Continue setup from Unify Talk. All right. So now that those are ready for setup with Unify Talk, let's go actually set up Unify Talk on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. All right. So here we are on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. As you can see, we've got Network and Protect, but now we have to set up Talk. And to do that, you go into the settings, and then I believe you go into updates. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Not sure I'm a fan of that, but there you go. Set up talk. And luckily we get a 15 day free trial um, of the service. So we can actually get a number here and test this out. So I'm gonna agree to that. Cause what other choice do I have, right? All right, set up devices. No devices detected. So this is an issue that I was concerned we might run into. I put them on a VLAN that is not the corporate VLAN. So this will definitely be something I reflect in my final review of this that comes later on. But what I'm gonna do to solve this now is I'm gonna go ahead and um, see if I can back out of this, there we go. I'm gonna go back into the network and change that um, 
those ports that I connected them to over to corporate ports. All right, so I actually went over to the switch and just unplugged the phones, let them power off, and then plugged them back in just to make sure it grabbed an IP address from the corporate network or our main network here. And when I say corporate network, I'm just referring to the network that we have our cloud key on so it can see it. But when I went back to our cloud key Gen 2 Plus settings, it says new phone detected. So that's kind of cool. So we're just going to set up Unify Talk from there. And let's see if it's able to see the phones. Nice, very nice. Okay. So, all right, so let's add new user. We'll do Tom, his name Jones, add him. Then we'll assign a user to this one as well. We'll make that one Tom Petty. A lot of Tom's work in here. So add user. And we get area codes. Interesting. So I could give each phone its own dial extension. But I think I'm going to go extension only on both these so that I can give them, uh, I want them to have the same outgoing number, if you know what I mean. So let's see what happens there. Emergency services information. I'm going to enter this. You won't need to see this. And now we're preparing and configuring. Wow, very fast. <laughs> Installation survey. We were barely even done. All right, you know what? No. <laughs> Take that. All right, so we got some updates available for the firmware out of the box. That's good to see. So let's go ahead and update those just to make sure I am on the latest everything here. And I'm going to do that for both of them. All right, so that took actually a solid five minutes for that update, a little longer than I was expecting, but that's okay. And I did notice, and you'll see this on the screen now, that once the phones restarted, uh, they did show up as configured with their respective extensions. So I guess we're on to the next step here, and I just noticed I spelled Tom Jones's name, Tom Jones. So there you go. Tom Jones is his name. All right, so let's go let's see what I can do here. So let's go into the settings for the first phone. There's Tom Jones. I can reboot. I can unmanage. That's, that's great. Call log. Obviously, no calls have been made. Overview. Okay. So basically what I'm seeing is now we have to set up the Unify Talk subscription. Let's see what we can do. Settings, maybe? The only problem is I don't have any numbers. Numbers and subscriptions. There we go. All right. All right, so let's talk subscription. Purchase numbers. Um, okay. So I want US. Give them my area code. Rochester, New York. Lucky me. Phone number. Just go with that one. That's all I want. Next. Phone number, monthly price $9.99. And I'm hoping, you know what? Since I can get two free of charge, why not add another one, right? That's the one I wanted. Next. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. So we'll get those two. So those are the two numbers I'm going to get. I'm going to go ahead and purchase two. Cool. As you can see, there's the 3,000 minutes we get per thing. So now, now, and I'm trying this out for the first time, so bear with me. Now I need to figure out how I can assign those numbers to, like, the front desk. Because I don't really want each phone to have its own, you know, number. I would like customers calling in to first of all hit the smart attendant. All right, so we'll call our smart attendant Juliet. What number do you want? Ah, see, here we go. Okay, I would like her to answer that one, the 312 number. Next. And it'll generate a greeting for us. So we'll say, hello, thanks for calling. We don't care about you, so don't call back. Customer service right there, huh? <laughs> or I could upload or record one, but we'll just go with that for now just for fun. Do you want your drag, your smart attendant to direct, to direct calls based on the caller's key press? Ooh, that would be great. That's pretty cool. Okay, so yes. So if they press one, prompt, enter a prompt. Sales. And... Tom Petty, he sells our stuff for us. 
for number two, we'll do we'll do operations at eh, business terms. And actually, Tom Jones, <laughs> great operations manager. And we don't need one for that. So if they press three, um, I don't want any map. So finish there. Oh, cool. And it gives us this little map here. This is really nice. With the current system we use, we don't get anything like this. And that's, you know, I guess doesn't mean you should be lazy and you can draw it out on a whiteboard and stuff, but this is really neat. Press one for sales, press two for operations. Very cool. So we've assigned that number. Oh, groups. Maybe this is it. Create a new group. We'll call it main staff. Um, I want them to have, yeah, OK, all right, add users. We want Tom Petty in there, and we want Tom Jones. Great. So now I guess all that's left is to try this out. So now I guess I'm going to switch over to my phone. Well, you know what? We'll just do it now. I'm going to call. And I'll hold my phone up to the microphone so you can hear. I'm going to call our main number and see what happens. All right, here we go. Throw it on speaker. Hello, thanks for calling. We don't care about you, so don't call back. <laughs> Press one for sales. Press two for operations. All right. All right, and the phone in the back was ringing. Now I want to see, though, if I dial that number, so if I dial my personal cell phone number from Tom Petty and Tom Jones, does it come from the same number? Because that's what I'm concerned about. So let's go give that a shot. Yes. Just tried it out, and it works. I got this set up correctly. So that is, that is super duper great. This, OK, all right. <laughs> that was my main concern, so I'm glad that we got this figured out. So, the process, just so we can go over this again, was you go into users and groups and you create a group up here. So I just called it main staff and you assign the group a phone number and you then assign users to that group. You don't actually assign numbers to the phones, unless of course you want those phones to have um, phone numbers. So I could take, uh, if I had a third phone on here, I could assign it that second number we got. So that's it. Uh, my main fears were answered there. I was a little worried maybe they were doing only on a phone by phone basis for numbers, but you can create groups and all dial out from the same number. So that is just fantastic. I'm super pumped. So look forward to my full review coming out. This was just a quick look and a quick setup, but I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna have a full review of both the Flex phone as well as Unify Talk as an application coming soon after I do some more experimenting around with it. So subscribe for that. Um, but other than that, have a great rest of your day.